Thank you, Penta. Start recording. Everyone can hear me. Okay, good. Hello, and welcome to the podcast. I'm here with Penta. I'm here. Rohan. Rohan? What? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try that again. All right. Usually. That's the end of it. Oh, you were waiting for the 101, right? Oh, I just heard, I just said hard. That's it. Uh, I'm here. You're about to talk to me. Son of a bitch, man. Well, this is uh, the problem that has only been on Discord, where I keep getting cut off from everyone else. So let's try this again. Uh, hello and welcome to the podcast. I'm here with Penta. Yes, we are. Rohan. Hello. Thank you. And Violet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're all here, and we're all back. We did, well, you didn't forget to record a podcast last week. I'm just moving it to a two-week format because uh, Dokkan News is extremely fucking slow when it's not a celebration. Except uh, for this week. Except for this week. We got a jam-packed, a... jelly-packed week. Let's start with Global. Uh, Global heard everyone's cries about how Global should release stuff sooner, so they decided to release the Bandwave six months early. And completely <laughs> wipe out a good portion of global players. I'm so happy about that one. No. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say happy. No, it was not so. what it was. <laughs> uh, just in case, you, if I felt like uh, Japan's bandwave was pretty bad, but you could actually feel the global bandwave hit real hard because all of a sudden it felt like no one was posting anymore. Um. <laughs> Also, they hit they hit harder on yeah, global. They hit. They uh they didn't give any warning. They uh People they they caught every duper. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they. And, uh, <laughs> uh, we've been saying for a while now that global has been doing better than uh, Japan. I did not know how much better they were actually doing. <laughs> uh, if you thought that JP was the thing they cared for, it, it's not anymore. It's global, <laughs> based on how many fucking players they just banned outright. Yeah, yeah, Japan's the beta test for uh, content. Yep. <laughs> and then global is the part where it, it's weird. It's so fucking weird. Everything about it's weird. But yeah, that band wave came in, gave no notice. It was like uh, that one part in the Moses story where the thing takes all the firstborn children. <laughs> it took all the Duke accounts. <laughs> <laughs> and it killed all the firstborns. It was real sad exactly like that it was exactly like that it just you know, visited it's still it's still surprising too because uh before they didn't really care about global because uh here's like one example mm -hmm. uh once when the maintenance was going on <clears throat> uh the game the game wouldn't work on their side it kept crashing so what they did is they just copy and pasted japanese code into the global <laughs> side <laughs> and they just said good enough <laughs> and they released it <laughs> Oh, there you are. Whoa, is someone being attacked in the background there? <laughs> That's one of the doors in my house. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, actually, I should say something. Wait, because Rohan, I think you're a little bit low. Is it a way for you to get... Hello? Yeah, I think so. At least for my side of the recording, you sound a little bit low. So is there a way to put you a little bit higher? Uh, I clicked on his name. Oh, yeah, I, I can click on your name. And then what, what what do I do from there? User volume. Just right, yeah. Oh shit, you're already at 100%. Oh I, no. Is that better? Yes, I can hear you a bit better now. Okay. So yeah, the now we're back after having that little getting Rohan live. Cut? What? Anyway, Bandwave. It was real bad. <laughs> it it felt it felt like real dark time and it put everything on a weird funk especially as global like global released uh lr majin vegeta and i feel like the player base is still kind of like um recovering from it because i could have swore there was literally almost no news on this it was just like one day i woke up and lr majin was <laughs> in global <laughs> and the only thing most people want to say is that they really I mean, don't that's, you know that's no how they did a uh, broly too uh, yeah, then, you they know. Just, they just like surprise. Here's, yeah. uh, here's an ally. 
there was more hype around Broly though. El Armagen yeah. felt like a like they were trying to sneak something on by. People were more excited for Broly coming back into that banner than Vegeta, to be honest. I mean, it's like it in again as well. Same, same as Japan. They just yeah. kind of put it in a little news announcement. They didn't put it on the banner or anything. They still kept the tech on there though. Yeah, that's true. They did put the tech. And I guess in. the, hmm? I guess the hype for Vegeta is kind of dead because Broly is just a better Vegeta. Yeah, <laughs> I do. Yeah. I do kind of like <laughs> that it feels like at least like they released the LR agility and the LR uh, strength right before the Super Saiyan 4s came in. So if you just so happen, I don't know how the fuck you were able to get LR Majin Vegeta unless you re-rolled for him or you just got real lucky. But you could, that could help sway whatever decision if you ever pulled one of them to pull for one of them. Which is yeah. more, I like that they're kind of more built to go with the Super Saiyan 4s than like LR uh, Super Saiyan Gohan, who isn't built to go with any of them, really, because he just kind of does shit himself. <laughs> he just kind of completely busts the game all by himself. He doesn't need any support. But yeah, it's weird. I for... mean, no, go ahead. His his second best, uh, his best sub is himself. Uh, Broly or LR? Yeah, Broly. Yeah, that's true. Well, that might change coming up and later on in news. Uh... But yeah, it's it's weird. And Global's now in that funky period that Japan was, like, uh, six months ago, where now you're just kind of waiting for the next big thing, except for now you know it's Super Saiyan 4. So you don't even get the Japan thing where every week we were like, there's no fucking way it's going to be Super Saiyan 4. Why the hell would they release these garbage units? And then, <laughs> jokes on us, they released the garbage and they made it good garbage good tasty garbage and that's global unless you guys got anything else to say about global i mean Go ahead. there's really nothing to say the band wave was the big thing right yeah i mean that that really hit everybody like pretty hard real hard Not except, everybody, except for me because i didn't play global it hit <laughs> it hit a lot of other people though <laughs> That was uh, not a fun thing to wake up to, even for me, someone who was looking from the side. It was, it was as if a thousand accounts were all silenced at once. <laughs> all right, let's <clears throat> let's move on. Uh, I mean, no one. Could have seen it coming. No, oh, sorry right. again. Sorry, go go sorry. go go for it. Go back. No one could have seen it coming because they really didn't care about global. Like, just a month before in the world tournament, they're like, "Oh, everyone can cheat." We're giving you a pass. It's just a warning. Just don't do it next time. <laughs> and you know, <clears throat> it turns out that what that what actually was happening is that uh, Daddy Global was going into the storage closet, and he came out with the world's biggest belt <laughs> and slapped every single <laughs> global player. With it. <laughs> Where the Japan one was just like a open palm slap to the face. <laughs> this one was much more brutal. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's go. Let's go over to Japan, where stuff is happening in Japan. Uh, nightmares. Night. The nightmare creatures. <laughs> terrible have a, things. Ter <laughs> terrible fucking things are going on in Japan because I feel like the Dokkan <laughs> has stopped caring about anything. <laughs> Japan is the darkest timeline. It is. Let's talk about the first hint of the darkest timeline. Let's talk about the fact that fucking a Bio Broly event came out. <laughs> The, th the one thing that I was joking about, like, haha, I can't wait for Bio Broly, came and bit me in the <laughs> fucking ass because they released a Bio Broly event. Whoa, whoa, are you saying Bio, Bio Broly's bad, Loki? Like, as a movie? Like, I don't think that... Both. As a unit and a movie. <laughs> as a unit, he's interesting. Like, whatever. If he's a, he's, a, he's a decent free-to-play, if you're somehow only free-to-play and you have the shittiest luck in the world. <laughs> And I think he might, spoilers, I think he might link okay with the extreme tech lead if you ever pull him. <laughs> but in terms of the that... actual movie, I, that movie is kind of, the only thing good thing about it I remember is that it has Hercule fighting a bunch of wrestlers at one point, And then everyone turns into like <laughs> naked slime men. And then Broly comes out and he gets yell he yells at Goten for a while. And then he turns into like a slime monster version of Hulk Hogan as he looks now. And then <laughs> nothing else happens. Oh, no. 
I actually I haven't even seen the movie. Have you never seen the movie? It's I've never seen a Bio Broly. It's, it, it for... I have. You've done yourself a favor not watching that. Bio Broly makes no sense because it takes place while they're fighting Majin Buu. So at one point, like <laughs> at one point while Majin Buu is destroying everything, eighteen goes up to Hercule and says, "Hey, where's my fucking money?" And that's the entire <laughs> that's the entire point of Bio Broly. That's the entire starting off point is that eighteen is angry and wants her goddamn money. Weren't like people trying to make Broly or something? Yeah. But, uh, a gi- like, how do they know what Broly is? A giant fat man found his DNA. I don't know how he found it. Uh, maybe he like <laughs> maybe <laughs> maybe Broly just like left his DNA somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> What? I don't want to get too gross about it, but I'm sure there were ways for him to get it. And then he puts him in a vat. I'm sure it's like something. I said something to do with like the second film or something. Like, they yeah. found someone found something from where he crash landed or something. Yeah, they found like I don't know a piece of his fur of his tail, and that was enough to clone an entire Broly. And even though it's a clone Broly, he takes one look at Goten and he's like, "God damn that fucking baby!" And he wakes up. <laughs> <laughs> That's a that's a plus quality uh, character. Uh, he's he's consistent, at least. Oh, definitely. <laughs> I'll say it, if I'll say anything about Broly, they've never tried to give him like a nuanced character. He is just a giant yelling baby. <laughs> uh, and that's what uh, Bio Broly is a giant slime monster that you can get. And I feel like. I don't know. Maybe this is just... I think this is Bandai's way of testing me. They've heard that I've started Slug Watch. And that I'm on constant alert to see if Lord Slug is being added to the game. And they're like, let's add something that's kind of Slug-like in a giant slime bio yeah, early. Let's make a Slug monster. Yeah, let's make a Slug-like monster. In the movie that I think everyone is trying to forget. Because I bet most people have never seen Bio Broly at all. Because by the... By that point, people had been checked out of Broly. They only needed two movies of Broly. Even Valley, the number one Broly fan in the entire world, will tell you Bio Broly is a bit too much. <laughs> <laughs> but then, then the one good thing about that uh, that event is that at least it means some free stones. I got, I got some stones from it. There's a physical Krillin that I yeah, like. But then, but then you have to uh, go to the story of Bio Broly. Yeah, that's a real bummer. Here's the other bummer, is that they decided that in this event, those uh, SSR kid Trunks and Goten, the one that people were like, obviously these guys are going to doke on with Super Saiyan 3 adult Gotenks. Not adult Gotenks, just normal Gotenks. Uh, they're going to actually doke on them there and make them rebirth, so they get plus two links instead of the 15% link you get from... I forget the fucking link, but it's the attack link. And they're... And, uh... Go ahead. Did they get those uh, rebirths? Yeah, they got a they got a rebirth, so it's a plus two link. They're they're okay. I think they're good. I think physical trunk still works on his team, even though he doesn't have that uh, additional boost in attack. I don't know about the Goten because I don't play agility anymore. I've left it behind, along with Super oh, Saiyan no. Four Vegeta. There's just no place in my heart left for agility. Why are you saying Super Four Vegeta is bad though? I didn't say he's bad. I just say he has no place in my heart. <laughs> is that so wrong? Can I not love a man <laughs> and still respect what they're doing to the side? I was making a joke on a, you know, when they were big. Oh yeah, when, yeah. When he's they're... the worst. Well, he's he's the the worst of the the god leads. Yeah. And then and everyone uh... just said. He... And then yeah, Kid, Kid Boo and Super 17 both yelled out, hold my beer at the same time. And they both <laughs> released it were much worse. So, Super Saiyan 4, Vegeta, he's fine, but yay. But back, back to Broly. There's really nothing much else to say about that bio, bro. There's a fat guy item. I have never used it, but there's a fat guy item if you want to try and use him. Let's, oh, and there's a they finally released the first ever Super Android 18, the first one that's actually considered a good guy. And she's okay. So there you go. It's not all bad with Bio Broly. And speaking of not all yes, bad, yes. LR Hercule has also been added, finally. What's, what's not all bad? What's all about LR Hercule? 
Well, Violet, do you have 14 million zenny <laughs> just lying around? Um, I might, actually. Well, so do I. And we've <laughs> in, in about 30 days, we could have our first LR. Uh, this turned into an infomercial. This is this is an infomercial for LR Hercule. Uh, yeah, they finally released him. He has the funniest Link set, I think, in that he has Rebirth, Golden Z Fighter, Innocence. <laughs> like, he lost a bunch of, like, a lot of the bad Hercule Links, and he got some, like, he got Innocence, <laughs> the one okay uh, Link, because there's a bunch of all of a sudden good kid units that use Innocence and the, uh, the LR thing. Uh... I have no idea what to say. Like, I want to say that LR Hercule's good, but at the same time, he's not 14 million zenny good. He's I don't <laughs> even think he's that good as a as a unit, is he? I mean, no, I mean he's, he's, he's in a he's max out. If you have like, him at SA20, he's real strong. And the, even, even then, he's not that he's not that good, is he? Uh, nope. I believe he is. When you when you and then you have to fully ability system him out. <laughs> I don't know. I saw I saw that video with the uh, Doken info and why he did like two million. Okay, like, yeah, that's not max the... everything. Yeah, max everything. Yeah, max that's everything. Not... <laughs> it's not not the greatest. He's not the greatest unit. I think it's weird that they were like, uh, you know, that joke character, that joke LR that we're releasing. What if we just made it so no one can have him, and that anyone who was ever interested in the joke uh, has to pay <laughs> with an arm and a leg just to have the stupid joke. <laughs> Cause that's what I'm doing. I mean, LR Hercule is not a, he's, he's not a joke. I mean, he's not a joke, but they decided to make him a joke I by mean, putting that crazy ass cost on him. He, <laughs> if you're uh, free to play, and have 14 million zenny. <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> he's not the worst. <laughs> there, there are worst LRs out there. Uh, mainly LR Super Saiyan Goku, obviously the worst LR in the game. Uh, I'm just kidding. He's not. <laughs> He's not before. <laughs> I saw Penta's green thing light up, and I could have swore he was about to actually tell me something. <laughs> uh, but yeah, and you know, you have the novelty of having a uh, LR Hercule. Yeah, and his well, art—that's that's something. His art's real cute. I like that art. It's Boo playing with a dog, and I like that. It's different from every other L art in that I feel like every other L art is uh, trying to do a badass pose of some kind, or in the case of Majin Vegeta, just kind of smiling at you. <laughs> and uh, L R Hercule has decided to do the same and just kind of be happy with Kid Boo and B. But yeah, he's out there now. So if you want to get that Hercule, uh... oh, they also released stage. Th they finally updated the uh, the Hercule money event as well. They made it so you get slightly more money now, but I feel like it's the exact same rate of getting money as it was previously. So I don't actually know if they changed anything about it. You do fight the agility one at stage three though, so that's something. There's new. And now for the final dark piece of the ending apocalypse, it is Japan no, currently. No, no. Don't say it, please. So remember that extreme tech lead that everyone was positive was going to be Lord Slug? Because it's like, what else could there be? <laughs> <laughs> what else could it possibly be? They've been saving Lord Slug this entire time, right? Uh... <laughs> they're... Nope. No. They're releasing... Let me, let me double check this. Uh, fucking Super Saiyan 3 Broly? <laughs> let me double check that. Okay, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Fucking Super Saiyan 3 Broly, what the hell is going on? Is he, uh, is he actually the tech lead, though? Okay, so currently there might well, be a small chance he's not, just because uh, I think someone at Famatsu or whatever, the, whatever the fuck leaked this, fucked up and made his little symbol super instead of extreme. So there's a chance, but then, like, so the, the original physical Broly, the... Uh, the one that looks that's looking at you all mischievously, and then he turns into the the blue one. He's tokening into a Super Saiyan three Broly as well, and he's extreme. So I don't see why there would be. Well, I mean, mm -hmm. SSJ three uh, Broly isn't even a 
He's canon. They can do whatever they want with him. <laughs> Has there been... Yeah, hero bro. <laughs> you say that the, he decided to Kakarot on the side of good? He... <laughs> Broly and friends. Oh, man. I would watch a show called Broly and friends. <laughs> it's, it would be in the same structure as Garfield and friends, but instead of Garfield, it's Broly, so he's constantly angry about someone eating his lasagna. He's kicking Goku, who's Odie, off the table. <laughs> That's the Dragon Ball spin-off we need. It is. It's the it's the only one people won't... And the animation will be real good just to make everyone who complains about Super's animation really angry. It's like, what, why the fuck did you spend all your money on the, <laughs> the Garfield-inspired parody with Broly? <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't... I don't know... I feel like last time when they released Super Saiyan 3 uh, Go Tanks, people were like, oh man, I can't believe you're retreading a unit. And then they've somehow figured out a way to retread a unit and also make them new. I mean, we just got Bio Broly. We just got Bio Yeah, like there's some kind of Broly mania going on, going there, on right there now. Is. We First got... LR Broly, mm -hmm. Bio Broly. Super Saiyan 3 Broly. You know this means we're gonna get Super Saiyan 4 Broly. Oh, and he's gonna be the villain lead. And we can make a Broly team. And then pretty soon we need to also get... We're gonna be getting Kale, Lady Broly. A.K.A. Lady Broly. She's yeah. gonna be added to the game at some point. So we're very getting... We're getting very close to the dream of the all Broly-led team. <laughs> <laughs> that has just zero defense. I don't... I, I just... Mm -hmm. I don't understand... Like... Why? Why Super Saiyan Three Broly? Like, the like have so much money. more. Because money, I mean. Money. Oh what? Who's buying this Broly shit? <laughs> Besides Valley, Broly maybe. Has, Broly has a lot more fans than you think. Does he? That's all oh. I'm gonna say. Oh, I know. <laughs> I guess. But here's the other thing that I'm actually kind of concerned about is that the one thing we've always said about Extreme Tech is it needs a leader that will somehow unite it. Yeah. And Broly is the most <laughs> selfish leader in the entire game. <laughs> <laughs> and Extreme Tech has masked Saiyan, and that's like the only Saiyan yep. in the team. So Broly's gonna fuck the entire team. <laughs> And there's also a chance that he's not going to get PFB because they're just going to give him over in a flash and nothing else. <laughs> Saiyan lineage, over in a flash, berserker. Uh, what other, what other, what's that, that Saiyan link that only gives you 700 attack? Warrior race. Saiyan warrior race. Saiyan warrior Saiyan race. Pride. He's going to get that. Super Saiyan. Uh, and that's it. Those, those are his only Saiyan. links. Say in lineage, maybe. He's also gonna get lineage of the king for some reason. He's not related to Vegeta at all, but they felt like he should have the link. Uh, also, does anyone know if there's any actual? Is there like lore? I was told that Super Saiyan three Broly had. Uh, no, I was thinking of Super Saiyan four Broly. Never mind. Yeah, there, I, there's no lore to Broly at all. It's it, just power. It's just power. I guess. Like, he, he did he somehow get angrier at Goku, and he just was able to go three? I mean, what? Has I he, don't know. Has he like, ever gone legendary Super Saiyan I think this Super is just, Saiyan like, a Heroes two? thing. Oh, is it from Isn't Heroes? It? Well, maybe... I'm pretty sure I've seen uh, pictures of Super Saiyan 3 Broly, like, as a Heroes card. Maybe it's my problem where I I, I want to see where's Super Saiyan 2 Legendary Broly. Where's him with like the lightning effects around him? I don't like it when people just decide to skip numbers. So why I don't like Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta is except for in the Dokkan universe where he in canon turned into Super Saiyan 3. In the actual GT show he just skipped 3. And that's also why I don't like Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta because he skipped Super Saiyan God. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm being honest, Vegeta has a real knack of just skipping every other step or so. <laughs> and that's how I feel about the Broly as well. That's all we really have to say about Broly, because nothing other than that Broly, that original physical Broly that you use to farm for LR Broly is getting a Dokkan as well. Just to make it so you never stop ever grinding for that Broly ever, you can now have a chance to get more.
Well, you know, I think it's kind of cool that they're adding in, like, unique characters. I it's mean, just, yeah. uh, I don't, I don't understand why there's so many brawlies just in the span of like one month. Yeah, it's a lot of broly. It's weird, but at the same time, yeah, I'm kind of with you in that. I like the idea of new units. It's just that I would like it if they maybe had waited a bit to release another Broly. So it didn't feel like... Maybe Next Dokkan is... Fest. Yeah, Next Dokkan Fest is Super Saiyan 4 Broly. After that, it's Majin Broly. No, this is foreshadowing. <laughs> for, uh, Baby for Broly. Dragon Ball no. Super. And then we're gonna... Yeah, have... after that, it's Kale. Kale. And then we're gonna have somehow Kaoken Broly. Which is uh, <laughs> Broly doing Kaoken. <laughs> This is an alternate universe where Broly was able to train from King Kai in some way. <laughs> then we're gonna get legendary Super Saiyan Angel Broly. Perfect Broly. That's when Broly <laughs> eats the other two androids. <laughs> Majin Buu Broly absorbed. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and then we're gonna have full power Broly. That's where just his muscles are gonna be ridiculous. Golden Broly. Just Broly and all gold. <laughs> Super, Saiyan Bro Super Saiyan Blue and God Broly. Oh, yeah. Those are those are just like... That's already known. We're getting yeah. them Broly's. Yeah. Uh, uh, somehow, God of Destruction Broly, where he's wearing the outfit of the God of Destruction. Oh, Super Saiyan, <laughs> Super Saiyan Rose. Oh, Broly. yes. Obviously. Broly, but with pink hair. <laughs> <laughs> Merge Zabasu Broly, where Zabasu decided to <laughs> take Broly's body instead, and he makes uh... Broly Black. <laughs> Broly Black. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I kind of want all these Broly's now that we mentioned it. And you can make an angel version out of all of them. Yes, we just, so we double just gave, the amount. <laughs> we gave Bandai their next big thing. Right yeah, there. Exactly. That's, that's three year. Yeah, that's we, the three year anniversary. We also basically just yeah, made but... Cyber Battle, but with Broly. <laughs> <laughs> the next sequel, the Xenoverse, is Brolyverse. You create a Broly, where you only have <laughs> you have six options of a race, and they're all Broly. <laughs> <laughs> I get there's something else coming. Okay, so now uh, moving away from Broly, cause God, please, we're gonna get a Dokkan Festival banner where we get to choose the ones that are gonna be in it. Well, we're not gonna get to choose. The Japanese player base will get to choose. Uh, this will be a good sign as to see what the Japanese player base consider to be good Dokkan Festival units. Because is it oh, yeah. just like we get to pick one or the whole actual banner? There, I. I... Mm -hmm. You know how they do it in One Piece is they have uh, like groups. So they have a group of what, like uh, let's say Rose and like, two random villains, and then Super Saiyan Blue and two random heroes or whatever. Uh, oh. I'm I think that's how they're probably going to do it instead mm -hmm. of voting for each individual unit. Yeah. I just hope that the voting goes well. Because the last time we let Japan vote, we ended up with four Super Saiyan Goku, Super Saiyan Two Goku's it's, Dokkan. It's just gonna be, it's just gonna be every, like the oldest Dokkan Fest Goku's, not even the good ones. Super I Saiyan mean, Three Goku. Yeah, you know, this is gonna be the like old a, one. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Like who who uh, Japan likes the most? That's not who they think yeah. is the best. It that it's a hundred percent gonna be that. So it's gonna be, it is gonna be Super Saiyan Three uh, a, a Goku. And they're also going to throw in Angel Goku. And then somehow, Super, like, a Vegeta's going to make it on there. I don't know which one. <laughs> Just a Vegeta. <laughs> and then the other is two will be Goku. the same banner that Broly is on? No, uh, it's a different no. banner. Because this okay. banner will be released 7-7, seven, seven, and the next Broly... The the Super Saiyan 3 Broly is expected to be the next Dokkan Festival. Whenever the fuck yeah, okay. it ends. I mean, so there's, there's a date on the cover that thing it says uh june I... 21st to july 3rd yeah that's the voting period by that point broly will have left us 
in festival form, that is. So if he is on the vote, could we just vote the banner to be the three Broly's? Uh, physical Broly, STR Broly, and... Uh... Take a Broly. Yeah, I think we can. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of doubted that uh, Bandai would put up Tech Broly and go like, Hey, you know this Tech Broly? <laughs> what if you waited a bit for a better banner for him to be in? I feel like that's probably not the move that they're going to do, but I, I'm i sure you can still vote on the other two Broly. The Broly Time Forgot, Physical Broly, and STR Broly. Well, we have to get those. Yeah. To make the, the ultimate Broly team. We're just we're we're waiting, gonna... for, uh, we're waiting for Agile Broly. <laughs> yeah. We have, to make... <laughs> we have to make a bot to vote what Broly is. Yeah, the Broly's the... have to be on the banner. So we have to reprogram Flarebot to vote for Broly. <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> make a new, make a new, tell Cornell to make a new bot called the Broly Bot that specifically only votes for Broly. <laughs> or actually, we should It'll actually be make a. If the vote goes away. We should actually make a uh, <laughs> a Bro tell Cornell to make a Broly Bot so that whenever someone puts Broly in the subject line anywhere in their post, a, he shows up and just yells Kakarot at you. And then automatically deletes the post because he's so angry that you've mentioned Broly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So... Nothing happened. Nothing happened. <laughs> nothing happened. It was weird. Uh, but yeah, did something happen? No. So voting. If you're Japanese and you're somehow listening to us and go... <laughs> I don't know. Actually, I wonder how many, like, the percentage of Japanese people listen to the podcast. I would assume there's one. I'm going to vote zero. What? If you're they Japanese and listen to I the mean... podcast, type in, like, Moshi or something. <laughs> let us know. How are they going to understand you? <laughs> Wait, you assume that they Japanese don't know keep English? people can speak English? Yeah. They you're racist? English. Oh my god. They teach him English <laughs> in, in, in Japan. <laughs> it's our it's our nation that goes, we don't teach people. I was about to do the Benta voice, we don't teach people. Uh, <laughs> Japanese over here. So yeah, if you're Japanese and you listen, type in. Type it in. Let us know. Send in an email. Because we enter emails at impressiveninjaskills.com. I think I said the email right. I don't remember. Are you guys ready for emails? Because we got emails. No. Yep. All right. Are they all for Zenrot? There's at least <laughs> one for Zenrot, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go for, we'll go with Sad Boy. Question, who will be the agility sealer? His answer says they will never be one because they will delete the game by the point that it's released. What so... What do you think, because, again, the only agility super sealers are uh, Oceana, Shenron, and Ninja Murasaki. They have decided that, I guess, agility should never have a super sealer because they Dokkan that Super Saiyan, not that, uh, they Dokkan Gotenks into a Super Saiyan Gotenks, and they could have given him super sealing, but they decided that he didn't need it. It's better for him to just be an all attack based Gotenks. So do you think that we'll ever see an agility super sealer? Um, yes. Probably. And it's going to be Majin Broly. Okay. No. He's going to he's going to partner up with Majin Vegeta. <laughs> I mean, I think they're giving a agile uh, too much of a like I don't know, like a shaft or whatever. Like <laughs> you mean like, suddenly they got Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta and they got the shaft real hard? <laughs> yeah. I mean they're not, they're not bad, but, like, they're obviously not giving them a lot of, uh, I mean, support. yeah, Agil Agility's going through some rough times because, again, uh, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta is good, but they got hit by the bigger shaft, which is a unit called Super 17. I don't know if you've heard of him. He's kind of, he's actively <laughs> bad, I think. <laughs> they had to change the game to make him actually usable, and even then, he's not good. <laughs> So agility needs uh, might as well just. I also think that they're never gonna they're never gonna release uh, a super sealer for agility, and that's basically because Super Saiyan Four Vegeta's effect would not work well with a super sealer. What's the point of countering super seal uh, countering that's... supers if you can't? 
Super. That's the exact reason they were well, the latest one. Yeah. What do you, What do you think? It works. Yeah, it works. What do you think, Rohan? Oh, that's the exact I, reason they'll release the Super Seal. I, oh, Rohan. Go. Oh, so, oh good. Bye, you go. One of you go. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll go. Uh, if they ever redo the Vegito Blue event, they could give Super Saiyan Trunks that, because they gave Jackie Chun Super Sealing when he became a Super Strike. Huh. Wave. That's they true. could give it to Trunks if they make him an agility card. I had never taken that into consideration. I think that's possible. You know, I accept your viewpoint on what could that... potentially be the next thing. Next thing. You know, just because it's so counterproductive to, like, the current Agile team. Yeah, think at least for heroes. He, he would release it anyways. Just, why not? Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. Next email. Uh, this is from some guy. Do you think that the ancient gods, that's what I call the OG plus three key and 3,000 attack for every type, for their type, will ever get an LR awakening? And if so, when? How to know since Super Saiyan 3 Agility Goku is my favorite card in game? Uh, I'm going to start by answering there's almost no way that they're ever going to go into LRs. And that's because... All those old guys got potential systems that give them like seven thousand boost to everything. Like, isn't it? Isn't there like potential system like crazy, and they give them like crazy high stats now? Yeah, they've got like the biggest buff from the potential system. So if you were to turn them into Just LRs, the original ones. yeah. If you were to turn them into Get LRs, go ahead, Rohan. I was gonna say I didn't. I didn't see it ha happening, especially because. Um, they're not that great when you look at their abilities. They're going to have to have a massive buff on like, their passives sets as well, because the links aren't that great when you look at some of them, especially the OG Broly. And I don't think he's going to get it open either because it's already LR stroke Broly, so yeah, kind of rules him out already. So it's probably they they gave the him an LR. Too. They just didn't let him Dokkan into it. Uh, Penta, what do yeah. you think? I mean, if they did, uh, like, Agility Super Saiyan 3 Goku with LR stats and uh, an updated passive would be insane. With, like, over over 100% over attack on LR stats. And he has the plus 7,000 from ability system. Yeah. So I don't think they're going to do it. Yeah, that would kind of for, break a lot of stuff. For that to happen, I think uh, the LRs would have to be uh, as common as SSRs right now, which uh, it seems unlikely, <laughs> given their uh, low pull rates. Um, I mean, it's just that the power creep has to be so high that making those LR would be uh, yeah, almost... Would... Like, mm -hmm. They'd have to be considered mediocre. Man, imagine the power creep that would be where a 100% attack boost to an LR would be considered mediocre. Like, I, I understand I where you're going. Yes. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's already happened. Vegeta showed that it was possible. Uh, next question. Uh, we got one but from... That's mainly his team being shit. Yeah. It's, it's not his fault, right? <laughs> It's never Vegeta's fault. It's, his, it's everyone else around him. Uh, we got a question in from Tientra from the sub. He sent in three questions, but then I specifically remembered that we only were allowed to read at least one per podcast. So I will read one of the questions and save the other two for a later time. So here's the first one, because this is super relevant. I don't think we'll ever be able to talk about this again. Uh, as we all know, the band waves were pretty harsh to many. To the best of your knowledge, who lost the most valuable account? This could be from money spent on account, cards obtained, etc. Z. Uh, I would say either Z Hal or not Z Hal. Probably Konal. I would say uh, Konal. Yeah, Nurse too. If it was if it was one between one of them, it'd be probably I mean, uh, them. JX. Oh. JX lost his JP. Which was, uh, I think he spent over like $10,000 on that. Oh, 
Yeah, that's also bad. Uh, no. <laughs> I didn't know he spent that much. Oh yeah, he he's a big spender. I also did not know he spent that much, but that sounds like a lot. <laughs> uh, um, I, I would imagine Kono spent spent a lot because uh, he was always buying stones. Uh, <laughs> it sucks that it happened, and uh, yeah, Bandai uh, isn't being lenient on people who spend a lot of money, even if they tried. I do like uh, just as a quick aside that. You mentioned Z-Hell and then quickly drop Z-Hell. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if he spent that much money on uh, Global. I know he spent a lot of money on Japan. Oh, okay. I thought you were taking it from the idea that he only spends five stones and then gets the units that he wants. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that happens, though. Pack it in, boys. We done. Who's ready to get super fucked on this better? Never mind. I don't say so. Yeah, th those are the people I know that spent a lot of money that lost their accounts. Well, Penta only lives in a world where he considers Penta. And Penta lost his account, and Penta spent nothing, so Penta learned lost nothing. Actually, there okay. was... In, in JP, didn't you spend, like... You spent uh, to get the, the, the stone pack once, right? That was like Yeah, a... like once. I don't even remember which, which banner. I think it was, it was a bad for... banner. It was during the Super Saiyan 4s, I think, with Vegeta. Because that was the first time that they ever went for um, the stone sale where you got, like, a stone and you got, like, an older god lead. Oh, I, yeah, I, I did. Yeah. He, he spent money before, too, though. Yeah, I've spent a, a little. Yeah, trying to make the ultimate Agile team and he spent money trying to get uh, <laughs> Agile Turtles. <laughs> Wait, what? Well, yeah. Uh, what? Yeah. Like, yeah. On that. <laughs> yeah, Ape Turtles, when he was actually good. I mm. I bought I bought like thirty stones for that, and I got him. <laughs> so validation. I got all of the AGL apes. So the system works. The game knew what I wanted. <laughs> Fair enough. Look, the luck didn't last long for Penta. Well, the next ape banner, the Super Saiyan Force, my luck was amazing. <laughs> so I have good luck on apes. But, but not good luck anywhere else. As is the case. Next question. Hello, Modcast. This is from Lethargic Pineapples from the subreddit, which I, I don't think I've ever seen on the subreddit, but I kind of wish I have now. Is there any unit that you guys like, even though it's not good, or at least anymore? Start with Penta, the king of liking bad units. Go. When you played, Dokkan. Uh, <laughs> um, Super Vegeta. All right, that's we're still waiting on the good Super Vegeta Doka that was promised to us. <laughs> yeah, remember when he was supposed to Doka? Yeah, do I. I, I like it when they <laughs> renounced him and then they announced Aurelia a week later, and Aurelia came first. <laughs> She's like just cut in line in front of everyone. Uh, <laughs> Rohan. Mine, it's probably the really old Super Saiyan Goku with the strength one. Because as soon as we got the super attack level, I maxed that, and he started hitting really high numbers. Because my count is just awful, so oh, it was actually quite good for a bit for me. All right, fair enough. Uh, Violet, do you remember? Um, <clears throat> probably Tech Final Form Frieza. Oh, I liked you know, Tech Final Form. No, he was uh, he was really good in the beginning, and then like two months after, he's kind of irrelevant. And then they released a Token Awakening. Golden Frieza, which is, uh, worse. Yeah, he took on into a worse unit. That's, uh, that's always a fun so, sign. So, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Let me see. Me, is there any specific... I mean, it's gotta be, I, I assume, a Tech Aureli. Yeah, I still use her, even though there's really no point in me ever using her. <laughs> because she's not amazing. But at the same time, she rides a cloud, and that's nice. I also don't have the greatest tech team, so <laughs> and, <laughs> so that might explain why I spent all my orbs on her. Are you forced to uh, to use her on your tech team, or do you I, use her on like willing willingly? Uh, let's say it's a little bit of both. I think if I actually looked at my tech team, you would probably like like weep because the leader is the free to play Super Saiyan three uh, Angel Goku. 
And then following up with him is that Tekka Rally, SSR Hercule, the new uh, Tech Trunks that I was able to pull, the Super Saiyan one. And then I do not remember the other two units. <laughs> <laughs> That's I wouldn't how... be surprised if they're uh, SRs. They might be. They just might be. I think I might use that uh, that Goku that's a key giver. The Super Saiyan 2 one. The one that we got. The one that's angrily holding up two fingers. Wait, what? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Next and final question for now. Uh, this is the all-important question. And this is from... It's not from Toast, but it's from a toaster. And it says, how many Zenrots does it take to screw in a light bulb? Penta, tell us. Was there a question? Yes. <laughs> Did you not hear uh, me at all? I didn't hear the question. Yeah, I didn't uh, hear a question. The question was, how many Zenrots does it take to screw in a light bulb? Um, Rohan can go first. Okay. He's popcorning it to Rohan, Rohan. What do you know about? <laughs> I'd say one, because <laughs> all you need is one Zenrot. <laughs> you only need one Zenrot. <laughs> all right. Now you get the popcorn. Um, who gets to go next? It depends uh, how, how high is the light bulb, because you might have to create like a human ladder of Zenrots. You, you're the saying that the, the light bulb is so high up that you need like them to stand on each other's shoulders? I mean, uh, hypothetically, you know, there might be a light bulb that high. Alright, so you're saying depend- let's- let's assume that- that the light bulb is about like five Andre the Giants tall. So imagine Andre the Giant and imagine him standing shoulder to shoulder and that's how big this light bulb uh, location is at. That's how high tie up. It's like at the the cathedral of some kind. <laughs> the one cathedral <laughs> in the church. Holy I'm gonna say 15 Zenrots. Alright, 15 Zenrots. Rohan, no, knowing this new, <laughs> this new math equation, do you still say just one? <laughs> Should I up it and go to 20? 20 Zenrots. All exactly. Exactly how many Zenrots is one Andre the Giant? Huh. That's a good question. I mean, that's, that's, for you, that's for you figure out, Penta. This assumes how tall we think Zenrod is and how tall we think Andre the Giant is. I mean, he's, his name is Giant. I'm, uh, Andre the Giant was a giant kaiju of a man. I think if you put that many Andre the Giants, he's... Literally the size of like Godzilla, or a Godzilla. I mean, Zenrod could be Andre the Giant. Wait, 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 wait. So Andre the Giant is seven, <laughs> seven feet four inches. Based on what? Based on? Did you just look it based, up right based now? Based on you Google. <laughs> <laughs> he was taller in my head. Seven feet is a. Uh, it's not tall enough for you, okay? Okay, so let's so with five of them. So this is a thirty-five foot long place to get to the light bulb. Okay, so here's my here's what I'm saying. It's gonna take three Zenrots, and here's why I think. I think one Zenrot will catapult the other Zenrot thirty-five foot high, <laughs> and then you need one Zenrot on the side to tell the other ones that they're doing a good job, and then that's how you fix the light bulb. <laughs> Exactly. Three Zenrods? Exactly three Zenrods. I'm gonna say two Zenrods as well. One to actually fix the light bulb, and the other to tweet about it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a good point. You can't tweet and fix a light bulb at the same time. You'll get electrocuted. No, because of all can't. the electricity that you're holding in your hands. <laughs> that's how that works, right? Yeah, that's uh, that's how Tesla saw it. That's why he died. He was holding a cell phone while switching out of bed. Oh man. I think that's it. That's it for this for this week. So we'll see everyone again in two weeks' time when hopefully more stuff will actually be happening in Dokon. And you know, bio uh Super Saiyan three Broly will be out. You were about to call him Bio Broly, weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> 
So, uh, from everyone here, say goodbye, Penta. Goodbye. Say goodbye, Rohan. See ya. Say goodbye, Violet. Goodbye. And now I'm saying goodbye, too. Bye-bye, everyone. I mean, we could have all said it at the same time. I don't know why I went down the line, but... <laughs>